Oh. Hopefully this is working. As my usual comment is at the start of the these right now, is I really need to find a way of working out whether these actually work or not. That one's already got tomatoes on it. Why are these ones so far behind? Weird. Anyways, food and drink quick. So, what's on today's list? Um, yes, lady, I know you're going to complain to me about that. Wait, we're on sunrise. Well, oh, almost sunrise. Just stand there and look at that for a minute. Um, so what's today's goals? I think rather, I can't remember. Um, sorting the furnace edit out. I think I know what I'm going to do now. Uh, I need to do a little test as well first before I go too much further with that. Um, next job is to finish decorating the base. Again, I'm pretty sure I know what I want to do with that now. And the third job would be to build my last room, which is my automation room. Um, yeah, if I get to that, I'll talk more about that then because I kind of know what I want to do but I need to do some testing I also need to keep an eye on this filter it's definitely getting low <laughs> okay what should I do first let's try while I'm somewhat thinking straight um, getting this bloody automation to work on these calling in this calling system um, I was like, where did my laptop go and then realized it's in my inventory? Here we go. Uh, this one, I think it was. Okay. So, the first thing I'm going to do is make the system which counts the counts the which tank is on. So I'm going to store this variable in all uh, of the IC housings. Because the IC housing itself has a setting that you can save to. By saving it in all of them consistently, I know that they're all sort of synced up because I need two of them. Um, yeah. So while I'm actually thinking str more straight and I'm not too tired, let's see if I can get this working. So setting zero. So zero is going to represent tank, the first of the tanks. And the reason I'm putting this here is because I want to make sure it's set right at the start of the program. Um, so. Let's make a count section of this software. So, effectively, all the count is going to do is read the read the setting, add one to it. So, R zero. I think add is a command, isn't it? To this. R0, R0, 1. Then what I want to do is check. Where's my cheat sheet? Where's my cheat sheet? Check whether that is larger than. Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to think which one I want. So, if that becomes larger than 3, so R0, 3, 
I want to jump past this. No, actually, I'm going to go the other way around. If A is smaller than 4, it'll jump. Uh, actually, it'll just return. So if it's smaller than 4, it just returns because it doesn't need to reset. If it Hang on. Nope, nope, that doesn't work. I need a thingy in here. Right. So the reason that doesn't work is because I still need to write it back to write it back on, otherwise it won't actually save. So Basically, if it is less than four, it just jumps right to writing. If it isn't, R zero becomes zero again. And that's the reset. So. That is quite loud. Um, the thing I need to test, and I, the reason I need to test this is because this will define how I set up the rest of the program is how much power one of these things actually uses. Because I don't actually know. Wiki seems to think it'll draw 200, 200 watts, which I would suggest it does. It does. 200 watts. Right, the reason that was important was because I could only think of two different ways to effectively put a power efficiency on Basically, detecting whether there's anything worth pumping in. The two ways of that were increase these, so there's one per set of tanks. The reason that would be is it would give me enough slots to put in this as a check tank. The second way would be to write, would effectively be to isolate these pumps on a separate network probably the best way to describe it and you can do that via transformers and then basically just switch off all of those pumps when this has got nothing in it but the problem with that is you need to still get the signal through that transformer um, thank you Rumba Mop for pinging making random noises when you're doing nothing. Anyways, moving on. Um, yeah, so effectively I have to get stuff through it. Now that's relatively easy to do. And to me, the most power efficient way of doing this would be to do the transformer method. Because I would need a compare uh, IO and then an IO read and IO write. The read would read this. It would then compare if it had anything in it and it would write to this. If it had something in it, it would turn it on. If it didn't, it would turn it off. So that's 30 watts. I would then need an additional writer per each of these, which would be four writers, which is 40 watts. Um, the reason you would need that is to effectively, yeah, you need that because you effectively need to be able to send the signal from these through the blocker, which is the transformer to them. And you would do that via the IC chips. Uh, you'd probably just use a mirror, uh, effectively you mirror this guy's state. So that solution would be 70 watts. The solution of having a single chip per set would be 100 watts. So in terms of pure power efficiency, I'm better off doing the transform method. So I will probably try and do that. <sighs> so, I need to go set that up. Let's turn you off. You're fine there. Uh, I need to drop all this stuff off, don't I? 
playing. Long. The reason I'm doing that is because I'll always end up with more iron and copper than anything else. So, two lots for those, and then one for each of the other resources, approximately. No idea if it's going to work like that, but whatever. Right, so I need some stuff. I need transformers and chips. Let me go back inside and grab those quick. Trying to keep closing that. I can't see that what's in that room. It's just not allowed. Uh where am I going? Logic processor, memory. Take lots of IOs because I'll probably need some. Um I've got cables. Which should work. Oh I forgot I was making those. They probably stopped because I logged out. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think that's everything I need. Right. So the first thing I need to do then is rearrange this network of power. Um, I think the easiest way of doing that is effectively to go along like this. Um, I can disconnect. This is going to work. We can get where I need to go. That's just in the right spot. Because apparently clipping your cables and your things to, through each other is fine. Right. So that gets those two networks separated. Kind of just because I can. I'm actually going to put this on a completely separate transform. Uh, can I? No, I can't, can I? I need this transformer on this network, don't I? Because I need to be able to turn it off from this network, so I need to power it from this. Okay. That settles that. Thousand watts should be fine. Three. Okay. Probably want to move these. I think I'm going to need more space. Uh, 
Uh, the reason I think I need more space is because... Yeah, drill. I need to put a whole bunch of logic mirrors on here. Um, and that doesn't work. How do I do this? Could I go like that? Yeah, that might work. So I need to keep these logic mirrors off of... Off of the main network, let's describe it as. I only want to hook up the outfeeds of each of these mirrors. This is where having a second color cable would probably be very, very smart. I'm gonna vote. I'm gonna go get another color cable quick. Um, this is gonna get horrendous if I don't. Uh, the reason I'm taking all these along because if I'm changing the color of the cable, I'm changing the color of all of them. I'm um, saying that actually. There's no reason those chips need to be over there. They can be somewhere else. I wonder if there's a better place to put them. Hmm. I need to think about that. All right, back for the different color cables. I knew I'd forget something. Uh, let's go yellow, because why the hell not? Actually, no. Let's go blue, because I've got everything else in blue in that area. Okay. Right, and the other thing I worked out is I don't need to put all of you here. Do I? I'm not sure where I'm going to put you. There is no obvious place to put you. And get two in there. I can easily get two in here. Okay, that's probably where I'm going to put them, but I need to put down the actual correct one, not the incorrect one. Are they smart? Let's help I use the new color cables. Go Tails. I thought you said you were somewhat awake. Probably drop those down one. I think I will. Right. 
Let's quickly drop these two down. Project mirror. Mirror. Now I need to hook all of these back up again. First place these back down. hooked up. Uh, I just need to get signal on power down to here. Which is kind of easier said than done. It's going to end up a bit spaghetti. There we go. First things first, let's set up all of these. Hoping. Yeah. I think I've got these the wrong way around. That is annoying. I think they need to go that way around. Um, those two can't actually go in there. Let me first get these two sorted. Just bit. Oh, I need to sort them first off. I think this should be easy enough to do. Just need to do that and that. Okay. Double check I've actually done this the right way around. Cool. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. That's what I wanted to see. Apparently I'm out of water. Okay. Uh, yeah, that way around. So they can go there and there. And you guys need to be moved. Minor issues now solved. Two, one, power, power. Right, now I need to name all these. Um, thinking, I'll call these. Actually, type mirror. That would be useful. Right. Let's go grab water quick, or it complains at me too much. That's what I'm after. Close my helmet before it complains to me in the airlock again. Okay. So 
next thing to do is set these two chips back up. Uh, I also need to work out what this is called. Um, transformer. Pumps. There we go. Store one. In feed one. Out feed one. Store two, store three, store four, and feed two, and feed three, and feed four, out feed two, out feed three, out feed four. There we go. Okay. All right, there's one more thing I need to do then. I just need to put the logic up for this guy. Switch that guy on and off. So for that, I'm going to need a logic reader, logic writer, memory chip, and all those. Do the process first. Uh, processor, I guess, can sit up here things always end up in weird spots. Because it's never quite the perfect spot to put them in. The memory can go down there. I do need the memory, despite the fact the memory is set to zero. Uh, hang on. I need to hook up the wires first. will just complete that. Okay. Okay, so this is now going to read the tank in feed. It's going to read its pressure zero, which is then going to compare that reader against the memory, and when it is not equal to, it is going to turn the transform up. Perfect. Try and switch that off. No. Oh, it's because it hasn't actually changed, does it? The valley needs to change for it to send another signal through. So that should allow me to keep the logic running to these guys. They'll turn on and off properly, but allow me to save the power. Okay. Now that is set up, I can carry on going. Okay, so I've got the counter set up, and I have the... Oh. Yeah. Count set up with its reset. Now, I'm only going to think about one tank at the moment, I'm going to expand it to two in a bit. But I think it'll be easier to alias... Tank D0, alias in feed D1, alias out feed D2. Okay. So, effectively, the in feed is on if the setting. is reading zero. So if A equals equals this one, R zero, 
Uh, I know I could use that one, but because this will be copied and pasted for other ones, it's kind of easier to leave them the same. That will read the setting. If it's equal to zero, it turns a one. Then I can write that to the pump. So I'll turn the pump on if it's on zero. Which is what I want. So. Hang on. Let's change that comment around. Pump state. Full set. Full set zero. Um, do I need to count up? Question mark. So. There are two conditions I've got for if I'm going to count up. Condition one is, is the tank pressure higher than 30 megapascal? Um, Uh, actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, I only need to check this if we're on zero. So, I need to change this so I can keep this setting. And if I put a skip in, and do a check of... That one. So it's the same check I'm doing here, apart from I'm skipping rather than setting a variable. That'll mean that this bit won't happen. Uh, let's put skip zero in for that because I'll need a few of these probably. So this means it won't do this check if. Yeah, it won't do this check if it's not the active system, because I don't need it just counting up because it's over pressure, for example. Um, so, if it is above 30,000, 30 megapascal, it counts. If it is below, Zero. This is in Kelvin, so it's five seven no two seven two plus thirty, which is zero two. So thirty. If it's below thirty degrees C, it'll count as well. Um, that doesn't quite work because if it's zero pressure, right. so I need to do another one here. of checking the pressure is if it is equal to zero it just skips this check because it this will register zero if there's no pressure in it i need to write this down otherwise i'm going to forget um Okay. And 
I don't think... No, actually, I do need to do something here, don't I? I think I'm better actually switching this around. No. So what, is what, I'm think what I'm thinking is, as a part of this, I need to write to the other, the out feed pump. If it's below 30, it needs to turn that pump on. Right now... That this would just yeah so what I think I'm better off doing is if he's above 30 which is this one again no not above zero yeah, no. if he's above that it goes to skip skip zero sorry Then I go gel, gel roll. Nope. Is it gel roll? Yeah, it is gel. Gel count. I want. Right. Effectively, that means that that will then do the count because it's above. It's below the three twenty. I can also do move R fifteen one because that will allow me to turn the pump on. Then after skip, I can set the pump because that will also cause it to turn off if there's no nothing. It quite works. Yeah, that's what I want. So S out feed on R15 because that's where I stored the variable. And that should always happen, regardless of whether these skips are happening or not. Which means that if it's skipped, it shouldn't be on. And therefore it will turn it off because the set the resets up here. I think that is what I want. Oh, that was complicated. Um So there's pre if it's equal to zero and there's pressure in the cyst and there's pressure in this thing pump will be on. And actually, scratch that. If it, if it is equal to zero, this pump will be on. If, yeah, then if the pressure either exceeds 30 megapascals or the temperature is below yeah, if it is Above 30 manic pascals, it will jump to the next tank, which will cause this pump, which will cause this pump to turn off, this pump to turn on. Yeah. Then this will keep monitoring. And if the pressure. Ooh. Getting shut up. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. Um, yeah, that doesn't quite work. Does it not quite work? No, because it only doesn't check the temp if there's no pressure in it, which is what I want. It'll always check regardless of whatever else is happening. Okay, that's fine then. So actually, I need a way to test this. In fact, Let's make my life a little bit easier. Let's 
turn that to one so I don't waste as much gas. Not a good start. The pump didn't turn on. my logic. Right. So that is setting it to zero. I'm then reading. Ah. I'm missing that statement because it's a batch, isn't it? going to set all these to 100. Because that is something I want to do. Okay. That was probably an issue. It's probably not the only issue. Okay. Go through this line by line. LV. LS, LV. Right. LB R0 type setting maximum. That should be correct. Um, sec is if A equals B. So if let's go find sec in the list and just double check. Sec. Right, so that is the value I'm storing in. So I'm then checking setting is equal to zero. And if it is, that should be one. I then write to the pump. Right, that's probably what's wrong. I've got an extra value in there. There we go. That is now turned on. Okay. I'm going to dump hot gas in here. So that is now turned on because there's now gas in here. So what pressure have I got? 12 kilopascals, lovely. Temperature is dropping rapidly, so I need to put more stuff in. Okay. It's probably enough, and I just need to wait for it to actually pump through. Don't really feel like you're actually like pumping very quickly, pump. I guess it's actually not too bad, is it? It is pumping and the pressure is going up. So in theory, once that gets to one, this should turn off because I haven't set the other one up to turn on. Now I get to play the waiting game. Maybe I should have used turbo pumps. I don't think there's actually enough pressure in there to get this thing to work. Okay. What pressure it is. Wow, I 
should have set this even lower. Let's try that then. Alright, here we go. Okay. That does not appear to have worked. That, however, does work. Let's turn you off for a minute and get this working. Actually, there's no harm in leaving that one, is there? Um, right. So, why is that not working? I now know up to here is working. That's just saving a pump state, so there's nothing there to go wrong. Right. Let's double check I've got the right one. If A equals thingy. That is the wrong one. If A is not equal to. Ah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Right. I need to rearrange this, but let's just check if this thing is if that would make it work. No, you'll just yeah. What did I set it to? Thousand. I thought so. So then it reads the tank pressure. Larger than B. So if A is larger than B, which it should be, store one, yep, correct. Um. Yeah, it should count. That is done. So then it reads the count. No, that's what's wrong. I haven't got a maximum set there, I think. State is still zero, pump is still on. It should be working. There are none at line zero. And it's such an unuseful message. It appears a storm has arrived. Perfect timing, because I need to go outside. Yeah, right. I'll come back to that in a sec. Uh, I'm going to have to go out this way now, because that door is now locked. Until the storm's gone. Hmm. Food and water. I can't remember which one of these I actually took out to put in. I have to go find out that because I quite like my wireless battery back. Slow. Huh, at least I know where the sun is. Ah, oh, no more storm. It's weird the way you hear storm for a moment. You're fine, lady. I think I'm going to have to simplify what I've done. Let's take out some of the steps. Well, let's just test one thing at a time. 
think that's going to be the easiest way to do it, test this. Yeah, we're fine, lady. I'm not jumping over the edge here because the storm will just blow me around. I don't need to be blown around. Need to find my wireless battery too. Not that one. Not that one. Wait, what? Um, not sure where that is. There's only one more door it could be in. Does help you actually put the command in, doesn't it? Let's try that then. Yay, it turned off. That is what I wanted. Okay. That bit is working. What's the temperature in this thing doing? 400 and something. Okay. Ah, uh, right. So that bit is now working. And now we get the fun task of a bit of a copy. Well, there's two things I need to work out. One, is I need to change that skip. So I need to do the tank read before it. I need to add in another skip. So now it's only skipping the check of the pressure count. Pull that back up to 30 megapascals. And it'll allow the temperature check to carry on. So there's no... So if we're not on zero, it just won't check the pressure. But it will carry on checking the temperature. However... Don't want it. Hang on. I need some more aliases. Uh, R zero. In feed state. Uh, R one. Alias milk feed state R2 alias pressure R3 alias tank temp R4. Let's just change a bunch of these to other things. Right, 
The thing I don't want to happen is that. If that. In that case, I need another skip. And another check on this. Um, God, this is getting complicated. So, let me. No. So check the temperature. If the temperature is above 302, it sets the pump to off. If it is less than 302 and it, the thing is not on zero, it will count. Um, it will also turn the pump on, which will work. Perfect. What I think I'm going to do is move these into here. Because then... Uh, actually, I've got a better idea. I think that was run. Let me make a new main. What I'm thinking is rather than copy and paste all of that, just put it into a function. So, um, effectively, then just want to run the main. Thing I need to work out well because I want gel run there rather than because I want it to store the address and return to it so what I need to do is move R15 I need to move Ra into R15. And I need to move it back again at the end. Because, remember, it will get reset here. Because this also uses that same function. And it will only store one return address. So in theory, I change all these over. Now I've both them on. Uh, what? Nope, you just both want to be on. In feed pump two, in feed pump one. Feed two. Okay, not useful. Why is that happening? Is it that? Right, that's why it is. I need to set a new one of these. So, uh, zero. This one needs to register one. I also need to actually make use of that variable by putting it in here, here, and here. Export. Right. As the pressure is now way below, 
And there's obviously still pressure in the main system somehow. I really need to unbind this bloody key that keeps minimizing my bloody hub. HUD. Really annoying. Yeah, there's still a tiny bit of pressure back in there. You're dropping temperature quite nicely. So, turn you back on. Let's pump some more air in. I may have to upgrade this to high to turbo pump soon. Oh wait, hang on. This isn't gonna work, is it? I need to set you to like five hundred. Okay, number two is now filling. Number one is now off. In theory, if I took out the other chip, which is in there, change you to two and you to three. Export. Turn it on. Once this reaches 500, it should flick over. does. Perfect. At least that bit's working absolutely spot on. That's weird. Why are you on? Tank store for feed pump outfit. There's nothing in there. All the others are on. All the others have got stuff in them. Sec. Actually, hang on, let's watch. Because this is about to reach the 500, so it's about to flick over. Does that instantly turn off when it does? It does, right. The reason I was checking that was because that actually defines a little bit about what's going on. Should be something wrong with that. Then. If A equals equals zero. So let's change that. Is there is nothing else. There is nothing at all, and there's nothing in them. Um, I got a real way of checking this. Yes, I do. No, I don't want a writer, I want a reader. In what I'm going to do is hook up readers to this guy. Because this guy should register what's actually going, what it says. Not that I know which one it is. They both say zero, don't they? So it definitely just says zero. There. Button keys. Can't get them to work. Right.
Um, at the moment, I'm kind of just waiting for this to actually just run. What I think I'm going to do. So. What the hell do I do about this? Oops. That line is not working. So what I'm doing is I'm reading the tank pressure. And if equal to zero, I'm skipping. I think what I'm going to have to change it to is if A is less than B. And let's just do one. Just so this, uh, basically it just allows a number to exist. Let's also knock you back up to 30,000. In theory, this should just flat out work. Oh, messed up. I need to remember when I do this that I need to constantly change these guys. They are two slightly different programs. Right, there we go. Um, the other thing I probably want to test quick, there's not much pressure in that guy, so I'm just going to turn this guy on and pump out everything. There's a little pressure in there, I'm not worried about what, what he's going to do to the temperature of the main pipe. This is going to take a while though. But yeah, that appears to be working. Uh, I probably need to do a couple of more tests on it and blah, 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 blah. But it does appear to be working. We've got the power saving in this from this thing when there's nothing in on these pumps are running. Got the logic that running. And it is a functional system. Everything is cooling off as expected. So I think that is good to go. This room is still getting quite hot. Um, because all these pipes are normal pipes rather than insulated pipes, so they will be giving off heat. I'm kind of fine with that. It's not really going to cause too much of an issue. So yeah, once that's finished out pumping out, Probably just leave this room for a little while and do something else for a bit. Once that's finished pumping out, I'll be able to tell whether this software, that little change will work. Hopefully it will. Okay. Next task. Get beeped up on my phone. Um, yeah, get beeped up on my phone, apparently. So the next task is to dec finish decorating the internals of this. Uh, I should probably switch all these over quickly, because certainly the waste tank is starting to get quite full. My vague plan is to effectively run more of these walls. I'm not sure whether I'll do them on the upper side or the lower side, so I'll probably do a bit of testing. And then use these flat panels on the other, the opposite. And I was going to mirror the colour scheme. So everything's white, apart from this band, which will be grey. Because I think that should look kind of cool. But we'll test out. Let's do three like that. Three like that. God, that's very orange. Yep. 
Plastic done. I need my paint. Uh, actually, hang on. Let's do, let's do the middle two just as a tester. Uh, I need to do it back in white. So yeah, that was kind of my plan. Uh, I need to rearrange my lighting in here and probably do something else with it. Like, move all this lot, because technically this was only temporary. I haven't actually decided where I'm going to put it, mind you. Potentially in here. Yeah, I got one in. I also need to actually set up the lights, turn on and off in here, and I need to split the room in two because this currently doesn't really work. Okay. So, I'm going to leave this there for now. I'll look at it and decide as I go past. Uh, I need water. It's going to be a while before I'm out of a pressurized environment. So the automation room, plan to make through that piece of wall. So let's start off by removing that piece of wall. The next thing I need to do down a floor grating. They need somewhere to walk on. Oddly. Oh, that's a bit heavy. Go away me. Go away heavy song. I always inevitably end up using these they actually match. Okay. Because you can only get them in this style. With stairs. So I find I never really only ever use this style till they match. It does annoy me, however. They don't quite line up. The stair railings and the normal railings can never line up. It is slightly annoying. Okay, the next thing I need to do is move these pipes. Uh, I'll probably need some more brown pipes. Probably take off that wall first. So we can see what the hell I'm doing. Yeah. I had a feeling that was going to happen. This is where I want my door. Stand out of the way so I don't get blown in. So, these pipes are in the way. The way I've done the yellow pipe, orange pipe, is also in the way. So, I need to move all that. Now, this room is not going to be airlocked. Um... There is no need or benefit for me to airlock this, so it will just exist as part of the main base. Um, yeah, basically. <laughs> That's just going to happen. Do, do, however, need to move those pipes. Do I need to move those pipes? I need to move one of those pipes. I'm only using like an interior. I don't need to, because these things I don't think seal. 
double check. Same star one, so it matches. Let me down for a minute and let's move. I know I need to move these pipes a bit, so let's just move these a bit. Because of the way I've actually built this, I wish the one I want. I think. Uh, I need more orange pipes. Thankfully. It would just be easier if I take one of these just demolish this roof. Let's demolish this. There you go. Problem solved. That pipe is now well and truly out of the way. I can put the, put the brown one down somewhere else. Let's just weld this back up. I know it's a bit skew if, but it'll work. Change the color of this thing. Probably should change the color of both of them, to be fair. Because almost everything else is white in this place. Pink color, done. Now I can drill out this room a bit. You have to be careful again because the pressure is actually going to try and kill me again. Which is nice of it.
Don't worry, I'm not going to get rid of my padded room with its window into nothingness. It's just going to be a slightly different nothingness now. So I know I could technically go through this wall, but I don't really need to. So I'm not going to, basically. This automation room will probably end up quite big. Because it's going to have quite a lot of stuff in it. My vague goal is what the automation room will do. is it will house all the materials and it will allow me to pull out what I want as of when. Basically. The edge of that one. That's really good. So it's going to have an awful lot of storage. Now, the question mark and the test I wanted to do is what kind of storage am I going to use? So I should probably, before I get too much further in this, actually do it, do that test. So, the method I've traditionally used... And the one I'm honestly mildly hesitant to try, try and use again... is I've used the SD something copper oh silo that's it these guys so although they're really 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 good they're just huge so I kind of want to try and find a better smaller alternative to describe it as that statement. My thoughts are I'm going to use stackers and shoots. Because effectively what I can do is register When I've got low amount, well, let's rephrase that. Now that we've got the new shoots, I can use this to open and close. So 
what I'm thinking. After I have a drink. Um, probably should go get food and water for my character. Um, yeah. Sorry. Getting sidetracked is per usual. Um, yeah. Sorry, I'm still sort of vaguely thinking about what I want to do in my head so I can actually say what it is. So, give me a second, I'll think it through and I'll do that with you while I food and drink and stuff. I'm gonna have to pl I'm gonna have to grab all these in a minute. My food resources are getting kind of situation. Very good. Good. I like very good power situations. Ooh. Why are you flashing? You're not, not like me disconnecting the pipe. Yeah. Okay. Right. Back to what I was doing. <laughs> so. I would need two stackers. First set. First stacker would be two. Ah, uh, where am I going? Uh, ba, 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 ba. Oh, I know what I want. Right. First stacker's point be to stack all the ores because of the stack mod to 400. From there, it would enter a storage system, which will be more than that probably, before being split into, let's say, usable sizes, which will probably be in this case 100. The hundreds would then stack up a few of them. And this will vary in length depending on the resource. Some of them like gold, iron, copper use loads of. Whereas like nickel you don't use much of. So I don't think there's much point in stacking up quite as much. Um, yeah. Uh, effectively when I want one. I trigger this to send out a single, single ingot. That then goes into a system, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Those ingots will then feed through into the furnaces, which will then be the correct amount to do a recipe. So it will always send four pieces of it ore, because all recipes can be broken down into sets of four. Because the fancy stuff is 1-1-2, one, one, the medium stuff is 1-1, one, one, so that's 2-2, two, two. and then the normal stuff is just 1, so you just launch four of those. Um, so every single furnace run would have 400 in it. Then the ingots would pop out and go through the same system. It would go into here, apart from this will be set to 500, and then it would go into here and be split up into varying sizes. So like commonly used stuff, iron, steel, gold, copper would be split into hundreds, and then it would slowly decrease depending on like the value of the stuff. And then my plan is to run that into these machines. And effectively, each of these machines will register how much it's got in it, and it will then request out. It will say, I haven't got enough stuff. I need more stuff. It will then request it, and it will go through the chain, 
until he gets into it. That is my plan for this part of automation. This doesn't even include working on all the genetic splicing and stuff like that that will happen up in that chamber up there. Right. The final thing is I want to have two banks of these. I want to have an automated set and a manual set. This will probably be my manual set. It will be automatically fed by materials, but I will but I will manually go up to them and say I want X out of it. The automated set, the goal would be to put down a vending machine. And effectively, this would have a set of stock materials always in it. So this would be cable, steel, all these sort of plates, not disincluding that one because I didn't really use it. Pipes, both types, liquid pipes. And effectively the goal would be I could always walk up to it, grab out one, probably two stacks at max. It would then know I've grabbed them out. It would then request new stuff to be made in its place. That would be my ultimate goal for automation of stuff. Now, to me, this is three distinct separate systems where well, they are chained together. There is the ore handling system, which I just need to dump ore into when I get it. It will then get processed and put into a state where it's ready to run. You've then got the smelting system, which is requested from the ingot store. Um, which is all about requesting ores, smelting them to the correct values, temperatures, etc. Um, Twitch, you're being weird. And again, you've crashed. Why do you keep crashing today, Twitch? Come on. Thank you. I hope this is working because Twitch is not giving me its preview. Oh. Hang on. I'm going to have to check because this is going to bug me if I don't. I may hear, my, hear myself. Ah. Uh. Looks like it's working from my end. I'm assuming by the fact I've got three viewers it is working and nobody's told me it's not. <sighs> Sorry, one sec. not what I wanted you to do. Now you're just going to be a sod, aren't you? <sighs> really? Fine, fine, fine. Sorry. I will be back with you in a moment once I manage to get everything stuff working. Bit rate's fine. Uh, 
Oh, I forgot that's doing that. Fine. Uh, edge it is. Okay. No, I'm not doing that right now. Okay. I can confirm it is working. Twitch, you're a pain in the ass. Um, okay. So basically, my room through here need to house a lot of these guys. So I'm thinking your ones can sit on top of the furnace setup to some extent and the ingot ones can sit on top of this room to some extent. That is what I'm thinking. Um, with a little hole in the middle to have all the programming stuff to actually make stuff work. Also, where have you gone? Oh, I forgot to blow this guy up. Oh. That's disappointing. Um, it's really disappointing. I wanted to blow him up. I forgot about him. The cursed machine that cost me like six tomatoes when I was really low on food. That is my plan explained. I think I wanted to check. Right. So I have two versions of this. First one is this. The second one. Mm, no, actually, that's that's not right. Because I don't think even the power shoots. So what I'm thinking is I want to register how many ingots are in these things. I don't think even the dig new digital ones, or powered shoots, I should say, are the right ones. I mean, I'm going to want that. Um, don't need flip floppers, I'll use sorters. Like that for now. Um, the sorters will be set up in like the traditional sort of way, not in like a smart way. As in, I'll just use a computer to set a sorter on sort on those. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else to explain. It's just a case of trying to work. So, this one I don't care about. This one just set sort stuff out to of many. Now again, for power efficiency, they tend to set up a little script that... How much do these things need? Um, I thought the stackers were quite like... Yeah, 50 watts. The sorters are apparently really, really cheap. And these are quite expensive. So you just set up a script to read when stuff's in them, um, when stuff's going through the system. Yeah. Um, okay. What data do these things read? Kit power shoot. I 
transport slot occupied what it is quantity that only tells me what's going on at the end how much power do these things use a lot not much okay. mm. Not sure, not sure, not sure, not sure. I think the easiest way is just going to be read all the data from one of these. If I'm perfectly honest, I think that's the sensible way. I think that's the only way I can really think to do this. One power along here through there. I can drop a battery in here, can't I? So let's start setting this room up. We're going to want a battery. can just put these in the middle of the air. I'm just going to put it in the middle of the air for now. Okay, let's put down power cables. Why can I not put something there? What's there? Oh. That's there. Okay. Yeah. How am I going to do this? I guess it's going like this then. Let's go back one. Perfect. Uh, that got me power through to here. And I just need to bring it into the bridge. Yeah, put that side. Turn it on. That is charging. Good. I'm going to put the all ones over here. I need to set the stairs up, don't I? Uh, right. Stairs. Do I have any stairs? Don't know if I have stairs. Chairs, tables, beds, stairs. There's stairs. Of course, it doesn't actually fit nicely. Whatever. Uh, I need some steel frames. I need some steel plate to build up and steel frames. I do plan to fully weld these rather than partially weld them. Because I don't think you should be able to see no, not that one. See very much from my padded cell. I think there are nine types of ore if memory serves. Types of ore, rather. 
don't care about biomass, I don't care about charcoal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't care about regen, regen mix and uranium ore can bugger off. <laughs> Flank, frankly. Um, I will end up needing to put something in place for it just so that it doesn't completely clog up the system. It does occur to me I need to go up another level though. Hmm. Come on. Let's go up another level. More stairs. I really need to just carry this stuff with me. Uh, I also need hollow snackers and hollow sorters. I also need a computer. Uh, I need a sort of motherboard. Um, need a sort of motherboard. I will want a transformer. And I think that's everything. Come on, that's the one I wanted. I go round and round and round in circles again. So I'll come back and sort out what exactly I'm going to do roof wise when I get there. It's not really sure right now. that for? I think that's probably the bottom of the cooling rig up, up top. Probably says to me I'm getting kind of close to the surface. Thankfully, I won't need a huge amount of space for this setup. May not be enough space though. No. Don't actually know yet. Well, right, let's go deal with my character's insatiable first. Before I go any further. Start off by putting some sorters down. Put one 
sort it out. I don't want the stack. I don't want a stacker. I'll buy a second stacker. Power shoots. Power shoots, come here. You might forget something. Then a digital valve with some. Shoots in the middle, of course. So that takes up what? One, two, three full blocks. So effectively, I need to go three full blocks that way to allow this to work. Concern about that is I don't know how close to the surface I am here. If I need to go two more blocks that way, concerned I'll wreck or just end up in the middle of nowhere. This way I'm confident I should be final. I have a feeling going up this high was a bad idea. I also know this is actually not that far from the surface. Because I know this does break the surface. Um, and I've now got quite limited space up here. What density are these things? Can I get them in at? I got five in there. So in theory, not too bad. Probably only need one block out this way. But before I actually mine anything, I should probably double check it. If I do this, I can go outside and see if one of those pops through. And if it doesn't pop through, I'm safe. side of this. There's loads of space back there. Aren't I? Hang on, hang on. So go in. 
Go up, up, this way. Correct this line. I don't know where they are, but I can't see them poking through. But the far end. Hang on, I do can't know, don't I? It's in line with this. Probably a block or so down. I think I'm alright to dig out like that. Yeah, I think I'm alright. Famous last words as I go and depressurize my whole base. I'm probably going to go and put something in the way so I can make sure I can't depressurize my base. What the battery's doing? I'm still doing well. Greasy. Perfect. Five degrees C. So judging by that turning on, I reckon my pumps are pumping out. Oh, I forgot I was going to go check one of those pumps was working, wasn't I? One sec. Get sidetracked. Alright, you have zero pressure in you now. Both of you, however, pumping out and you've both got... You've got zero pressure. So they're all on. Ah! That one's on because it's obviously just pumping out. These guys are just on, on. It's not what I want. Not applicable, not applicable, not applicable. Not applicable. Hang on. Not applicable. What are you reading? Pressure equals zero. Is what I'm expecting it to read. Done wrong. It's gonna be something really simple. Skip one is there. Oh, right, that's what's wrong. All of that just from one. Label being wrong. Right, you've got pressure in you, that's why you're on. You have pressure in you, but you're not. That's correct. There's no pressure in this, so it's off, which is correct. Right. I can switch this back. Um, to this one. Just to read the temperature. Which is fine, because it's jumping all the way through here. Is correct. Zero. One. Right, 
You're now on this time, which is what you should be. You are draining. to go make a bunch of these and switch them all, all those pumps out. Uh, let's go back in the front door. One sec. I need to do some mining because I don't have any gold and silver. Silver. Yeah, lady. Stop complaining at me for the same thing over and over. Is the sun going up or is the sun going down? Right, silver is going to be the fun one to find in this. Somehow, silver is one of those ones I can never find when I want it. gold. I need silver. Yeah, that's a silicon. Silver! I was just mine all of this because like I said I struggled to find silver. Finding light of the beacon is still on. Smell for a minute.
Yeah, see, it's actually done the right thing. Because that one's below 30, it's jumped straight to number 2. Perfect. It is working. Right, what were the conditions for Electrum? Above 600, 2.4. theory, that should now turn on, because there's now pressure in this system. Looks like if I just dump out all of the air in this, I should be fine. Just then make sure there's no pressure in that little bit of pipe. Yep, just waiting for the pressure to drop. Once it drops enough, I can smelt. Just ignore you. There. Go in the front door. I don't think it's not a front door, it's more of a side door. Nah, that one's definitely the side door. you in there. Play basketball one week. Oh. It ate my basketballs. Can we get them out because it's not powered? Oops. Well, these ones have. <sighs> Can I just sigh? Hunger, caution. Well, I guess this means I can save a bit more power. is going to be fun. I need to rewire. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to even rewire this. <sighs> right, let's start off with number one. As this has a separate data port, I don't need the logic mirrors, which means I get to save even more power. I should be happy about, but I'm kind of not. What I want is the power to come off of the this side, and this, so that this system still works. Then 
doing this, I will design this a little bit differently. Well, at least I know the software works now. It's not quite so bad. Right. That's all those hooked up to power. I need to up the power bandwidth on this guy. So let's say 4,000. Oh yeah, that's much quicker. It's probably actually saving me power in the long run, too. I don't think these take 800 watts. Considering the speed at which they pump, that's actually a lot more efficient. Okay. So most of these are actually going to be quite easy to get to. The two in the middle that can be buggers. Most of them can just be hooked up like this. All these bottom ones can, anyways. You know what? Have we just taken that out? Let's put it back in again. Explicitly, these two. There's no obvious way to get it through. Because of all sides, all sides along here, is now blocked. There's no way to get it through that. Oh. The only easy one is that one. That one just goes like that. Um, right. I think what I'm going to end up doing Useful. That one's easy. That one's definitely not easy. Trying to think. If I why do I move this entire thing down one? Hang on. If I 
bring any further. I need blue, blue normal pipes. Which I have plenty of. Good. Uh, I'll go sort my food, but I'll go through this door and go out. I have a feeling I'm going to need to do some tomato ink stuff. Fine, lady. I think the reason it's doing that is because the temperature of the gases is a bit low. I also have a suspicion these are the wrong way around. Why do I feel like these are switched over? Weird. Last bit of baked potato. Wants tomatoes next. Guess I cooked them. Tomato seeds. and actually save them as quickly as possible. By the way, it gives a little ding to say, I'm done. Oh, I know why these these two aren't doing as well. It's because there's not it's not solid. It's solid. A bit more food. <sighs> and apparently, I've still got the tomatoes in my hand. So, back we go. Oh. Apparently, I had too many of them to stack in one. That's why I had extra. That's what I was doing. I'm just trying to solve my turbo pump issue. So what I'm thinking is if I drop this whole lot down one, effectively. Does that give me enough space to put a turbo pump in lower down? That is what I'm thinking right now. Try 
drop this bit right to the floor. Um, I'll need one up, won't I? Need one up? No, I don't need one up. It's fine without the one up. So I can still get power cables up to these bit, up to the turbo pumps. Hmm. Interesting. I only took two extra pipes. I was kind of expecting more than that. I don't know why. Cables down like this. back up to the mains power. There we go. Okay. Dump you over there for now. Okay. There's two things I think I can get here. One. That's why you're complaining. We need you in there. That still needs to be there. <laughs> That's what I just learned there. Probably, however, move you around a bit. This, this cable sack. thinking this can run across here. Which is valid.
Okay. I say, what did I do with the turbo pumps? And then realize they're on the floor. The next thing I'm thinking. You. Move one further down. I'll need some more ground pipes in a minute. Right. That will allow me to get power and signals there. So that is what I'm thinking. I need some round pipes. Oh, I'm going to go to bed once I've been sorting this out. I'm tired. Automation stuff can really finish next time. Check this is going to work. This is going to work there. This one is not quite going to work. No, actually it will work. Go up there. Double bank layer cable can go up there for all its information and power. You know what? I'm gonna change my mind on that. The reason I'm changing my mind is because it will give me more space to put the blue pipe. For this guy. Let's go up to there. this which actually looks somewhat neat
Okay. Two done. What's my next one? Again, presents a different challenge. There's a storm on. <sighs> Let me come back to that. This one again is relatively easy. I could have five times eight hundred. This gives me one kilowatt extra. So a hundred watts, hundred and thirty watts. Okay. I'm fine on the five thousand. <sighs> Always worth checking that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, I also need to name all of them. Uh, pump. In feed one. Two. get you there to there. Preferably neatly. I actually have a plan. You know? I take all you lot out. I'm thinking Should emphasis on should be able to get you out. Also, begs the question is could I do that one neater then? I'm going to have to play with that in a sec. Effectively, the turbo pump gets its power like this. Okay. 
There we go. Uh, no, this one wouldn't work because I need to go. Yeah, that one would never work. Okay. Let's reconfigure all these. Um, in a two. Outfeed one, outfeed two, outfeed three. the other ones. There they are. Maybe that should get to zero and just switch off. Good. Right, number two is on. Something in the system. It's also, I guess, not cool enough yet. I'm guessing it's 50 degrees outside, which is why it's on that. Right. Slightly more power efficient, and hopefully, because the pumps pump more efficiently, although consume more power in an instant, which is fine. This system should work better. Think if I could think of a way of making this thing a bit neater, but I really just can't. There is. I don't think there is a way of doing that. Flat out, there isn't. Yeah, because even this one has a single jump. Because this one has a bigger jump. I could probably deal with. Say I could probably deal with the single jump. I absolutely could deal with the single jump. I what might be these? Could at least match it. There we go. That at least looks better. Those two are nice and flat, and these two have got a single point at the top. Right. Let me just double check this is working. Perfect. Once this thing's finished emptying itself out, I'll leave here. And I'm going to bed after that. Pascal's left. Almost there, almost there.
<laughs> this is where I get to watch it as it goes through. Oh, there it just, it just goes. There we go. I am happy with that. That is working nicely. I'll just now start crawling down. Uh, game. Oh yeah, there it goes. Fine. Working. Happy. Get out of here. Right, I'm going to end it there today. Um, I will be back next time with trying to finish off that automation room. Need to work out how the hell I'm going to lay it out. Yeah, I have no idea how the hell I'm going to lay it out. I think I worked out already that I could actually do this final bit, haven't I? Without breaking through. to play the... I'll go after I finish this one last thing. do some welding up between now and next time I play. Just so you don't have to watch me weld up all this stuff. I'm at least going to partially weld these so I don't fall in the holes again. So in theory... Should give me enough space. They're further apart. Oops. Is the wrong spot for those, they need to be one further over. Which is not going to leave a lot of space in this thing. <laughs> um, yeah, when this thing's set up, I'm, I'm never touching it again.
I can tell you that right now. Okay. Uh, let's dump off everything I don't need. Includes light meters. Pipe. More pipe. More pipe. Um, let me just dump my stackers back in here. Yeah. Uh, let me just clean up. That's cleared. Okay. So I'm seeming to get sidetracked a little bit more than I intended. Next time I'll be back with sorting this place out. Um, trying to hook it all up and do some logic in it. I don't know how the hell I'm going to do it. It'll happen. Um, yeah. So I'll be back. Don't know if I'll be back Sunday evening or Saturday evening. Uh, be one of the two. <laughs> but yeah. Progress has been made. I am happy with what I've done today. I haven't decided which of these I prefer. In some respects, I almost prefer the fact it varies. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, have a good time. I'll see everyone again in a few days' time. Bye, easy bye for now.